<laughs> so, uh, Sarah, uh, the way we learn in India is by, so I went and lived with my guru. I didn't go to a school or college of, you know, or university of music, though we also have those in India, but every single musician who's worth anything have all come from the tradition where you go and live with your guru. So I lived with my guru for 12 years. And whatever I learned was taught orally to me. We were not allowed to write anything down. And this instrument is incredible. First of all, you know, you play it with your hands, not sticks. And it has a language of its own. So if I say ta, if I say ta, if I say ta, if I say ta, so if I say thi kathinna, tere kathinna. And the one word that I have the most practice is the one that my wife uses on me all the time, which is na na na. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I'll play something short. Uh, this is a composition that was composed for the uh, Mughal king Humayun. He once demanded that he is only going to hear something that he has never heard before. So this piece was composed, it's called Angustano, where just the fingers are used, not the palm. So you're basically hearing a museum piece, you know, from hundreds of years. So So if you practice. with a tapa.